Hey guys, it's the Dexams Forum Astro and welcome to this brand new SketchUp speed build. So today I'm back in SketchUp and this time it's actually not been that long since the last time I created a house in SketchUp. This time it is something different than what I normally do though and I want to start this video uh, by telling you that because if you know a little bit about architecture or you just follow architecture here and there and maybe you follow some architectural Instagram accounts, you probably know this design already and that's unfortunately nuts because I was the one who originally came up with this idea uh, but this is actually like an existing uh, plan which they're currently building in Dubai it's called the seahorse uh, water villa uh, project or it's just these houses or these villas are called the seahorse villas they will be built in um, like what was it called the heart of Europe I believe is the project um, and no this is also not a sponsored video even though it might sound kind of like that but I just did some research to uh, figure out exactly what um, like the concept of this was but I've seen pictures of this around on for instance in, uh, Instagram uh, accounts or other architectural websites with cool pictures on them and always I've been like oh, wow that looks so cool and I really want to recreate it and then um, yeah now I finally got like the time and like now I got myself to actually recreate it so unfortunately this is the first design which I didn't come up with myself um, so yeah it's recreated but still I think it really looks cool uh, so you know as long as I tell you that I've not recreated it and I'm not like stealing the fame uh, of uh, the person who originally designed this it shouldn't be a problem right uh, and in case you didn't know the design yet yeah now you do know it probably at the end of the video and you'll probably have to admit that this is pretty pretty awesome because these are houses located on the sea um, near Dubai like I said in uh, like the rules uh, which they're currently building of course in Dubai they've got the palm which you maybe know about which is an artificial island which they built on the sea they're, they've built like a second palm already maybe a third one is coming I believe and also they've recreated the rules so the shape of the world in like I think I think 200 islands every country has got its own island I believe and uh, they're planning uh, or they're working on a project there called heart of Europe where they're creating like several countries I believe Sweden Germany St. Petersburg which is actually a city things like that they're putting six of the, those countries together in that part of the world and then it will be kind of like for tourists and this is kind of a honeymoon destination these, uh, these houses for like the ultra rich because I believe uh, staying a night there is like a couple of thousands of dollars which is <laughs> pretty expensive of course but I mean you get to stay in a seahorse villa so a water villa which is absolutely awesome I mean what I'm currently building you're seeing that I'm working under the actual um, design of the house and that's because they've got a part of uh, yeah part of this villa is underwater so the master bedroom is actually underwater and they surround it by like coral reef which in the end makes it look so cool because you sleep underwater surrounded by fish and like coral and everything so like that idea is awesome so that was just you know I've seen those pictures several times and every time I see it I'm like that's crazy I wish I had actually just invented that because that's such a cool idea and I would really love to see them once so in case Dubai is watching this video you know just invite me over no problem and I'll get to um, get to see it now but no kidding I just wanted to show you this really cool idea and I just really wanted to recreate this in SketchUp see for how far it was actually possible and um, yeah if I don't know then I can as well just make a video of it because why wouldn't I maybe you like to see it as well um, so yeah the point with recreating something which was in originally already created using like rendered images and stuff and I came out uh, or I found out about that um, when I started making my own rendered images is that if you recreate something which is actually created by a really good architectural like designing company then if you make your own renders they actually kind of look like shit <laughs> so they're not that bad they are still kind of good but if you compare them to like the professional real renders of this project they're just definitely not as good and that's kind of what I realized while creating it I was nearly like okay they don't really look that good maybe I should not even make a video of it because it's kind of below the level uh, especially if you compare them 
to other ones but if you don't compare them they actually look pretty good so therefore just don't compare them or if you do then please keep in mind that i'm 16 years old and this is not like my actual job and then the people who did create the renders it's like their actual job and they studied for it and stuff or at least i hope they did probably they did um but yeah it doesn't make that uh, this project is just really cool and I, I you know this is one of those things which i'm like it's so cool how they come up with it it's kind of impossible well, impossible but it's not like realistic it's only it was things like this would only happen in dubai i mean this is crazy luxurious and just way too expensive kind of to build and to may build on like a large kill but there they can just charge whatever they want for it and earn it back i guess or at least i guess the plan is to earn it back otherwise it would be kind of stupid but um yeah in the front in case you're wondering um there's not an actual swimming pool but there's like yeah, I believe what did they call it? A plunge bath? Bath? Is that what they call it? I'm not sure. But um, it's kind of a hole in like the structure of this house. And um, there will be a net in there so you can just relax in it. And then when waves come, you get wet every now and then. But it's not like an actual swimming pool. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, recreating the net was nearly impossible. Or at least I couldn't find like a net on the warehouse. And creating one myself would take several hours and in that time I could also build something else. So I thought I'm just gonna leave it open. Um, so yeah, here I'm changing some things, I'm adding some detail. Uh, I really did my best to make it look as similar to the ones um, which are actually going to be born in Dubai. But um, yeah, I did come up with the idea that maybe if you really like these kinds of builds, so underwater or like crazy futuristic kind of, I can maybe make my own version of it. So that might be cool. Then I am still kind of being creative because this wasn't, yeah, this was mainly something which you needed to know what to use ketchup for but not you i didn't really need too much creativity for this in my opinion because i didn't really have to come up with the design which normally i do have to do or do want to do kind of but um yeah still i think it was just pretty awesome please let me know by the way whether you already knew about this build or not and what you think of it do is it a style you like or do you think you know it it's it doesn't yeah it just doesn't look good i'll Hope I won't get like any copyright issues if I do put like a picture in this video of the uh, seahorse uh, water villa. I will put it somewhere in the video, I guess, and then you've probably already seen it because then I should have put it in the intro. And here, by the way, you really see clearly like that master bedroom underwater. I did my best to get a good render of that split uh, view and I think in the end it did work, so that's good. Um, so yeah, recently I've spent an an extreme amount of time in SketchUp and now you maybe wonder well you've not uploaded that many SketchUp videos so what did you do well um yeah for, I've gotten two a uh, new like projects which I'm working on uh, like those real life projects if you've seen any SketchUp videos of me previously you know that every now and then people contact me asking me whether I can design like an actual house for them because they're going to build something and they have got something in mind but they can't really visualize it very well for like their architect and then they go to me and then I kind of create it in 3D in SketchUp I just kind of visualize their ideas and then with that plan they go to an architect which is of course much more expensive than I am and in that way they've got a design which they like themselves and it's cheaper and yeah in that way I also have got like a really cool project to work on so recently I've been working on two projects uh, one in California which I believe I've talked about already and one in Brazil which is really starting to look like awesome as well of course whether they will in the end actually be built I must say with these projects I do have kind of some faith in it because yeah these people really respond a lot to their emails and they're thinking realistically about it so maybe it will be built but those houses are pretty big so and it's the internet so you never know it could always be like a scam so I'm never too sure about that um so I don't know until I actually see it being built, but uh, that's pre pretty cool, building one in uh, Brazil, so Rio de Janeiro, which is, it does kind of make me look at like the Olympics, uh, the Olympic Games, which are currently like worldwide news, I guess. Um, it does make me look at Rio de Janeiro in those views in the Olympic a little bit in a different way, because I mean, maybe a house which I've designed will be built there, which is of course like crazy considering that I'm, like 16 years old or wait i'm 17 years old i've turned 17 like a week ago 
Oh, I actually said it wrong previously. Did I say my... I don't know whether I did actually say 16 years old previously in the video. But anyways, um, I'm 17. Sorry for that. Didn't want to mislead you. But um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. But um, yeah, just creating these videos is a lot of fun as well. Because I do notice that if I just create something which only my own opinion when it comes to design is like part of like the deal so not someone else's opinion it is much easier to build it of course uh, because you only have to put in your own thoughts and you know if you like it that's good but if you're building something for someone else you've also got to keep in mind that they have to like it as well and they've got maybe at times different thoughts than you've got so that's like fun to experience kind of that real way which it would go like in real life as well uh, but it is different from uh, me designing like a house like normally by the way here I'm adding some like design feature which I saw on the original house I tried to do it with those circles but it didn't really work out so I've created a design myself which I thought looked pretty awesome um, and yeah I just wanted to create something in the side I thought it would be cool to kind of have that yeah, I don't know how I would pronounce it or say it, but it's, it just looked pretty cool, I thought. So um, otherwise it's kind of boring, those sides. Um, and then we are nearly done because adding like some chairs and tables from the warehouse is something I normally don't put in the video. So this time I didn't uh, do that either. But yeah, just adding some more details. Uh, I'm really focused on measurements lately as well, just to make it more realistic also because I've been working on those projects where I do really have to think about the measurements. Um, yeah, I do that. Uh, for uh, like the SketchUp builds as well now because it's just it's just in my mind to think about the measurements but um, yeah please let me know what you thought of the video should I maybe rebuild like n yeah houses which are actually being built or which I've not come up with myself uh, in the future more often I'm honestly kind of doubting whether I should do it because with regular houses I mean this is something very special so that was kind of the reason I did it but normally I wouldn't really recreate also, uh, something also because the rendered images just look much better and also I don't have to use any creativity which I must say I kind of missed that um, but yeah it was fun for this time so I hope you liked it as well um, yeah and yeah I really <laughs> it would be awesome if I would be able to see them in real life once because I mean You've got to admit, the design of this, it's insane. I mean, the the shape, the way it goes, it just, it's, in the end, it's kind of one flowing thing all around it, which I found out, uh, even though it seems like it's made up of like several structures. Um, but anyways, here we're looking at the rendered images. Like I said, please don't compare them to like the professional renders because they don't look as good, but uh, I rendered this using iRender Next, which um, many of you always like wonder what rendering program do you use well i mentioned it in the video but i always mention it at the end which is not that useful because people often don't, wa don't watch until the end so if you did watch it until the end please comment panda in the comments i would like to see how many people actually watch the video and then um yeah i hope to see you back in another sketchup video and yeah thanks for watching bye bye